what's up guys, I'm Soda Pop, this is the Left Pedal, and today we're going to be restoring some rusty metal engine components from my Datsun 280ZX. I already have the intake and exhaust manifolds removed, so I figured before we put it all back together, we might as well polish some things up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. I've never done this before, so we're just going to pretty much have to see what happens, but if I can do it, so can you. Should be pretty fun, let's get to work. Alright, so first things first, gotta get the parts out of the car. Most of what I'm working on today I already pulled off in the last few episodes, but there's a couple more little parts I want, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this engine light and the heat shield. So first we'll touch on these small metal parts. They should be pretty similar except that two of them are getting painted and two of them are getting polished. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit them with some parts cleaner. This will help get grease and debris and some of the rust off. So you can just spray the parts cleaner on the part, but if it has sensitive components like this, you can just spray it onto a rag and wipe the part down from there. Next I'll be going over the parts with some rough sandpaper on my rotary tool. I'm going to be using the rotary tool a lot today. Uh, this is a pretty cheap one, it's from Walmart, but if it works, it works. So I sprayed them down with parts cleaner and I'm using a, like a wire brush to get in there. Now I put a bristle wheel on the rotary tool, so I'm gonna hit it with that. So I've been going at these for quite a while with the sandpaper and the rotary tool and just slowly getting the finer and finer grits with the sandpaper and honestly they're starting to look pretty good. The engine light and the fuel pressure regulator, I'm going to use some finer sandpaper and get these really shiny, but the heat shield and the auxiliary air regulator, those are going to be painted so I'm not too worried about getting them super shiny. Now I've been working on this intake manifold and fuel rail for a couple days now. They don't look fantastic, but they definitely look a lot, a lot better than they did before. The L28 is a fantastic engine, but they look terrible with all the vacuum lines on top. Now, I'm not just gonna go ahead and start deleting everything like a lot of people do, um, because some of this stuff is kind of important. 
So I'm leaving the auxiliary air regulator on the car. And that'll have a hose that loops around here. Um, you can see I've already deleted the EGR system and I'm getting headers, so I'll plug the hole for the EGR. These lines to the transmission and brakes obviously need to be there. And I believe these go to the charcoal canister, which I'd also like to keep. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's my plan. In the next episode, we are going to build a new fuel rail. So instead of all of this, it's just gonna be a straight metal line. And then this is the cold start valve. But my cold start valve leaks anyways. I didn't even have it plugged in and it doesn't get cold where I live. So I'm just going to make a plate to block that off. And this hose I'll have to replace because it'll need to run back here because that's gonna be the new location for the fuel pressure regulator. So after I put the hoses and the wiring back in, this is still gonna look ugly because I've got the bright intake manifold covered in black hoses and black wires. So my plan here is to paint the intake manifold and the AAR and these components black. Painting it all black will mean none of it stands out. So the eyes will be drawn to the more colorful shiny parts like the valve cover and the fuel rail. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the throttle body. just four of these little guys. All right, so the throttle body came out pretty good. Now it's time to start prepping the intake manifold for paint. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the throttle linkage. Since I won't be putting the cold start valve back in, I'm gonna go ahead and make a delete plate for it. I've got a piece of sheet metal I'll be using for the block off plate. This is a gasket for the cold start valve. I'm gonna use that to uh, draw where I'll be cutting. And it's all right if it's a little rough. I'd rather it be too big than too small and we can smooth it out later. Now just to drill some holes. All right, so it's not beautiful, but it's not bad either. Once I get it all painted up, I think you'll hardly be able to even tell there's a delete plate there. So since I deleted the EGR, it left this little port here, and I don't have anything to plug it with that'll fit. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping it out with a quarter inch NPT tap, and I've got a little plug I'll use just so we don't have any vacuum leaks. Alright, so I've got my hole tapped out. Now I'm just going to use this little plug to fill it up.
I couldn't get the plug to set all the way in the hole. It's still sticking out a little bit. But this part's not really very visible and if it keeps the air out, I'm happy with it. So this tube that connects the exhaust to the EGR, I am not sure how I'm going to plug that up yet because I can't for the life of me get it off the intake manifold. So for right now, I'm just going to tape it up and paint around it. Honestly, I feel kind of bad about painting it. This is the first time since I've owned it that it's actually been shiny. It's kind of pretty, but I have faith in my plan and I'm going through with it. I'm using Duplicolor High Temp Engine Enamel. I'm gonna hit it with two light coats and then I'm gonna to top it off with one medium coat. I am no expert at this. If you have any tips or tricks or you see anything I'm doing wrong, please let me know in the comments so the other viewers can see that and not make the same mistakes. This car is very much built on trial and error and I like to film the first time I attempt something to give you guys realistic expectations. Alright, so I let the paint dry for about a day now. We're gonna go ahead and take it off and see how it looks. All right, that was fun. It was very, very time consuming, but for a first attempt, I think these parts look awesome. In the next episode, I'm gonna be building a new fuel rail, and after that, we're gonna be putting all this together and hopefully getting the car running again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing to us here at The Left Pedal. We got a bunch of dots and stuff coming very soon. I'm Soda Pop, this is The Left Pedal, and I will see you all next time.